Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello, my dear students. How are you? Welcome you all to the online class of Dr. Khastagir Government Girls High School. And this is your teacher, Mushfika Akhtar Chaudhary. Our today's class is for class 80 students. And the subject is English for today. So, let's get started. At the very beginning, I have some pictures for you. So, have a look at the screen. There are three pictures of musical instruments. The first one is, yes, the first one is Bashi, the second one is Dutara, and the third one is Sharinda. So, my dear students, do you know these musical instruments? Can you play any of them? Okay, these mus musical instruments are basically used in our folk songs, in our rural songs. And our today's lesson is related to these musical instruments. Our today's lesson is related to our folk songs. So today we are going to read English for Today Unit 1. A glimpse of our culture. Lesson 1, our folk songs and lesson 2, Nokshikatha. My dear students, after completing the lesson, we will be able to read and understand text, inform meaning from context, ask and answer questions and write a paragraph. So let's start our class, Unit 1, Lesson 1, Our Folk Songs and it is in page 2 of your English for Today book. My dear students, before starting reading the text, we must have a look at the new words of this passage. The first word is folk. Do you know what's the meaning of folk? Actually, folk is a noun which means common people of a region, especially with a distinctive culture. But if we mention folk song or folk culture, here folk is an adjective. And at that time, folk means originating among the common people. Then we have another word. Traditional. The word traditional is also an adjective and it means in accord with tradition. Then we have another word that is instrument. Instrument is a noun and it means device made for special purpose. So, now we are in the passage, Unit 1, Lesson 1, Our Folk Songs. Dear girls, you have to read the passage on your own. Folk songs are songs sung in the traditional style of a community or a country. Here, the traditional style includes the themes, words and tunes of the songs that have existed for a long time among the common people. We have a rich history and collection of folk songs in Bangladesh. Of them, Palligiti, Bhatiyali, Bhavaya, Jarishari, Gambhira, Lalongiti, Palagan and songs of Hasan Raza are very popular. The traditional musical instruments are usually played with these songs. Dear girls, this is the passage given in lesson 1. Now you have to answer some questions on the basis of this passage. Dear girls, now you have to answer the questions um, regarding the passage that you have read. The first question is, who usually likes our folk songs? And the second question is, 
name some well-known folk singers. You have to write down the answers in your copies and you have to submit it in the next class. Now we are going to start lesson 2. Well, dear girls, there is another picture on the screen for you. What do you see in the picture? Yes, it is a katha, a nakshi katha. Have you seen it before? Yes, very true. It is in our home. In every home, there are some nakshi kathas. What do we do with it? We use it in winter as a quilt. There are some more pictures of Nakshikathas and it is a very known, a very well known thing in our household. So, our next lesson is Unit 1 A Glimpse of Our Culture, Lesson 2 Nakshikatha. So, dear girls, let's start the text. Unit 1, Lesson 2. Nokshikatha and it is in page number 3 of your English for Today book. Dear girls, let's read the text. But remember, after completing the text, you have to answer some exercises. So, read it very carefully. Nokshikatha is a kind of embroidered quilt. The name was taken from the Bangla word Noksha which means artistic pattern. It is a kind of traditional craft and is said to be indigenous to Bangladesh and West Bengal in India. The art has been practiced in rural Bengal for centuries. The name Nokshikatha became popular after the poet Joshimuddin's poem Nokshikatha Mart was published in 1929. Traditional kathas are made for family use. Old or new cloth and thread are used to make these quilts. Maiman Singh, Jamalpur, Rajshahi, Faridpur, Bogura and Jashore are most famous for this craft. Now it is produced commercially. You can find them in many expensive handicraft shops in cities. The quilts are now in great demand because of the colorful patterns and designs embroidered on them. So dear girls, this is our today's text. Now you have some exercises on the basis of the text. You have to complete some sentences with given clues. So let's have a look. We have some keywords and those are Bengali, pattern, embroidery, years, Fashion, Art, Rural, Designs, Quilt, Noksha. And the gap is, Noksha means artistic dash. The name was taken from a dash word. The art has been practiced in dash Bengal for dash. So let's try to answer this, fill in the blanks. Noksha means artistic Yes, Naksha means artistic design. The name was taken from a dash word. What it should be? The name was taken from a Bengali word. The art has been practiced in dash Bengal for dash. In rural Bengal for years. We have some more exercises. Nokshi kathas are now sold in dash shops. Number 5. Nokshi kathas are in great demand because of their colorful dash and dash. Number 6. Nokshi kathas are kind of dash. So let's try to answer the gaps. Number 4. Nokshi kathas are now sold in fashion shops. Number 5. Nokshi kathas are in great demand because of their colorful embroidery and patterns. Number 6. 
nakshikathas are kind of quilt so we have completed the given exercise okay now we are at the last part of our today's class and it is homework time dear girls you have to write a paragraph describing how a nakshikatha is made and you have to submit it in the next class thank you all